Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. According to rumor, they're going to announce a fight involving Terrence Crawford, possibly the best, I believe he's the best, in the sport pound for pound, against future Boxing Hall of Famer Manny Pacquiao. Let's talk about that fight. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let me just say, could things possibly get more ridiculous than this? Manny Pacquiao, in his 40s, hasn't fought for a while. Challenging Terrence Crawford. A guy who should be on everyone's very short list of the best in the sport pound for pound. And of course Crawford is still unbeaten as I make this video. Right? This sounds ridiculous. But what's even more ridiculous is the fact that Pacquiao has a real chance here. Right? Styles make fights. Betting's not all math. Let's think this one through. Pacquiao, he's in his 40s. I'll agree with that. Can't dispute that. But Manny Pacquiao's a freak athlete. Manny Pacquiao today has some of the fastest hands in the sport of boxing. Keith Thurman has been giving re uh, interviews recently where he talks about how hard Manny Pacquiao hits. His comments sound like Shane Mosley's comments after Shane Mosley got dropped by Manny Pacquiao early in their fight, got off the canvas, and then was in survival mode the rest of the fight. Let's remember, too, some recent Pacquiao fights. Not the Keith Thurman fight, where Pacquiao drops Thurman, gives Thurman his first loss, his only loss. But let's go back a little further and talk about Pacquiao against Lucas Matisse. Murderous puncher. Murderous puncher. Was completely out of his league. Could not handle Manny Pacquiao's hand speed. Looked awfully bad in the ring. Get stopped in that fight relatively early. Right, Pacquiao, a southpaw, is just too damn fast to prepare for. Your sparring partners can't hit like him. Your sparring partners don't bob and weave like him. They're not as sudden as him. So let's think about this Crawford fight, because Crawford is a guy who, while he's handled hand speed, Right? Let's remember, this is a guy who's beaten Amir Khan. This is a guy who's beaten Kell Brook. While he's handled hand speed, right? while he stops Kell Brook relatively early, while Amir Khan pretty much quits in their fight in the middle rounds, while all of that is true, Terrence Crawford really relies on his mental game. He's not going to match Manny in hand speed. Let me say, too, that if a guy is as fast as Manny Pacquiao, that's going to take away a lot of your game. If you're ambidextrous, you're not going to be able to fight the guy and switch from lefty to righty. Understand, Kel Brook was a bit cautious against Terrence Crawford. Manny Pacquiao is going to come after him the first three rounds. Because that's what Manny Pacquiao does. We remember Marquez looking good against Manny Pacquiao. Dropping Pacquiao in one fight face first on the canvas with Pacquiao out cold. And that was the second knockdown of that fight. But let's not kid ourselves. Marquez is overwhelmed the first round of their first fight. Even... A skilled technician like Marquez was baffled on what to do with Manny Pacquiao the first time he saw him. That's what's going to happen here. 
I think Terrence Crawford is going to be downright surprised by Manny Pacquiao's suddenness, by Pacquiao's power, by Pacquiao's speed. Understand, too, you can't sleep on Manny Pacquiao. In other words, if I come out and I'm just completely lackadaisical, I might get knocked out cold like Ricky Hatton was knocked out cold. Pacquiao drops you. He's mastered that straight left hand. Right? He's a fastball pitcher for the baseball fans. Right? If you can't hit his fastball in the early innings, you have to wait for him to slow down. Now, he lost to Floyd Mayweather. But let's remember how that fight went. Folks, it went the distance. Mayweather also, I would say, in his prime, was a better athlete than Terrence Crawford. Right? When you see Crawford, you don't see blinding hand speed. You see a guy out thinking you. Right? Well, understand. The thought process takes some time when you don't have time to think early in fights. So the bet I like here, and I'm assuming the odds makers are going to look at these two guys, they're going to say, wow, Terrence Crawford is almost 10 years younger than Manny Pacquiao. Terrence Crawford is unbeaten. Terrence Crawford has beaten contenders at Welter, big names, former champions at Welter. Right again, Amir Khan beaten, Cal Brook beaten. And this is after being undisputed at Junior Welter. So I'm expecting the odds makers to say, okay, well, Crawford is the favorite. Right? This is the welterweight division, not the heavyweight division. A guy in his 40s at Welter is just downright a senior citizen. I don't see how they can make Pacquiao the favorite. So for me, personally, this bet makes itself. Right? I'm expecting Pacquiao to be at least a plus 140 underdog. So the bet I'm recommending, well, the bet I like, what I'm pursuing. And I haven't seen the odds for this fight because this fight right now is a rumor. It's being negotiated. But the play I like in a fight involving the fighter who I believe is the best in the sport pound for pound is to take his opponent Manny Pacquiao to win the fight hedged with the over. Right? You know what? Rewind and look at the Jeff Horn Manny Pacquiao fight where Jeff Horn is running into Manny Pacquiao is man handling Manny Pacquiao. You might recall Pacquiao had a bit of a feud with Freddie Roach about that fight because Pacquiao felt that Jeff Horn was fouling him. Jeff Horn was fighting dirty and Pacquiao felt that his corner didn't quite raise the right objections. Right? Well, let me just point out, that's not Terrence Crawford's game. I'm not expecting Terrence Crawford, who beat up Jeff Horn. Common opponent. Crawford looked better against Jeff Horn than Manny Pacquiao did. But I'm not expecting Terrence Crawford to come in and to be able to manhandle Manny Pacquiao. I just don't see that happening. I expect Terrence Crawford, who took a few rounds to figure out Kell Brook, didn't he? I'm expecting Terrence Crawford to take a few rounds to figure out Manny Pacquiao. Here's the problem with that dynamic. Pacquiao today might still be one of the hardest punchers in the sport. Understand, there are fights where Pacquiao did not get the KO. Right? The Keith Thurman fight. The Shane Mosley fight, which I mentioned earlier. Right? I believe Chris Algieri goes the distance with Manny Pacquiao. Their fights where Pacquiao didn't get the KO, but knocked the other guy down early. Had the other guy thinking, damn, this guy hits hard. Right? Had the other guy proceeding with caution. 
Here, understand, if Manny Pacquiao starts this fight and catches Crawford as unprepared as Crawford was in the opening rounds against Yorkies Gamboa, another guy with hand speed, if Pacquiao sweeps the first three rounds, you're going to deal with a dynamic you did not have with Cal Brook or with Amir Khan. You're going to deal with a multi-round deficit in a fight against one of the most loved fighters in the sport. Right, I hate to break it to Terrence Crawford. Right? Again, I, I personally consider Crawford to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Right? Great fighter. But Crawford has a problem selling out his fights. Right? Let's just keep it real. Crawford's corner is going to want him to win. There'll be a few people from Crawford State who will be rooting for Terrence Crawford, right? Everybody else in the arena is going to be rooting for Manny Pacquiao because people understand. It's not historical having a guy 33 beat a guy who's 41, 42 years old. It's magical if the older guy is able to reach across the decade and beat an elite fighter. Who's nine, ten years younger than him? Right, this would be, for everything Manny Pacquiao has done, eight divisions, everything Manny Pacquiao has done, this would be one of the biggest chapters in the book on Manny Pacquiao if he pulls off the win. So you have a fast starter, Pacquiao, against a slow starter, Terrence Crawford. And you have a crowd dynamic. Understand, Crawford could fight well the rest of the way, like Keith Thurman did. Let's remember that Thurman decision is not unanimous. Thurman gets back in that fight. But understand, that plays into our hands. Because in addition to having Pacquiao to win, we would have the over. Right? Crawford could look as good as he wants. As long as this fight goes over the over-under. And I'm hoping that over-under is at least 10 rounds. Right? Crawford did dust off Kel Brook relatively early. Amir Khan did quit in the middle of their fight. I'm hoping as odds makers think about this fight. Think about Manny's age. They say, hey, let's move that over-under down a little bit. Manny was on the canvas against Marquez, knocked out cold. Manny hasn't fought in a long period of time. Right? The minute they do that, hey, count me in. I think the world of Crawford. But I don't like the dynamics here. Manny comes in loved like Canelo, loved like Ray Leonard. Manny jumps out to a quick lead. Right? Let's say after four rounds, Manny's up three rounds to one. God forbid. Manny lands a Sunday punch, a straight left that drops Crawford like Keith Thurman was dropped. Then after four rounds, you're not dealing with a 3-1, right? Because that 10-8 round would really make it a 4-1. And you mean to tell me that I'd be getting underdog odds, odds better than even money? on a fan favorite <laughs> folks I don't know what to say you know this is almost like betting on Tom Brady you look at the math it doesn't add up a guy in his 40s and he's fighting the best in the sport you know it doesn't add up but yet you know in your heart Manny Pacquiao has a real chance you know in your heart Pacquiao hits harder than Crawford. You know he's more sudden than Crawford. You know Crawford's going to be spending at least the first two rounds trying to figure out the angles on Manny. And you know Crawford's margin of error is not that great. Just look at what Manny did to Ricky Hatton. Right? So, a fight that shouldn't make sense makes a hell of a lot of sense to me.
A bet that shouldn't make sense. Manny Pacquiao to beat Terrence Crawford makes a hell of a lot of sense to me. That's how I'm rolling with this one. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.